What is going on, guys? GTA for Life 6996 here, and I'm back with another video. Um, and it, this is a another one of uh, the Budget Beast under 20k series. Um, I think this is like my third video of it. Um, I'm gonna continue doing this as uh, you know, Mutt continues. As you can see, I'm only at 92 overall, but I do have 300,000 coins. Um, the thing that I did was I sold my expensive players and bought ch uh, cheaper players that were still beast. And I also got, uh, as you can see, like the Kaepernick. I got him because he is a a card that's a limited edition that you can't pull anymore. There's no way of getting him besides buying him on the auction. And I actually bid it on him for 100k and won. The next one was like 140, so it was a good deal. Um, And so the fact that his price is probably going to stay at like... 80 to 100k the rest of the year is a good thing. That's why I'm keeping them and I'm also a Niner fan and this card's been playing great for me So it's definitely a great card. Um the David Johnson I sniped for 20k So that's the reason I have him. Uh, next one was like 45. So it's I got a pretty good deal on him, too He's obviously gonna drop um, but I got him for 20k So that'll hold me on for a couple weeks until he goes down to 20k. I'm guessing uh, as you can see I got my receivers I got these guys are all under 15k um, I have my cornerbacks, uh, Joe Hayden, I never sold, I kept him because he's such a great player. Um, Jordan Poyer, he's a great player. We're going to have to do a, a update um, soon, but as of right now, we're going to go and look into these budget beasts for under 20k, so let's go and do it. I already have the first one down. This guy, Brock Osweiler, um, I just seen one for 12k, someone bought it, but he definitely goes for under uh, 19k. As you can see, all these ones have been out for a long time, which means that people have been buying them for way under, uh, you know, the 19k price that's right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at his stats, because his stats are amazingly good. We have um, 82 speed, 99 throw power, 95 accuracy short, 93 medium, and 92 deep. Um, those are pretty much his key stats. 82 speed for this guy is really good. Because when you have above 80 speed, that's enough speed for you to get out the pocket in a, in a crucial situation, get a first down, or just plain old just scramble out the pocket and, um, you know, outrun a, a lineman. Linemen these days happen to be really fast. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got uh, a bunch of, like, fast linemen these days, so it's not going to be completely, like, outrunning them, but it's it's enough to, like, you know, get you out the pocket, get you a first down. But the 99 throw power and the 92 accuracy deep, let me tell you, that is an amazing... Um, those are some amazing stats right there. If you're someone who throws deep often in a game, then this is the perfect card for you because he's got the high throw power, he's going to get it on the money, and it's just a great card uh, overall in accuracy, speed, and everything. Um, throw on the run is, is actually pretty good for him. Um, I actually tried him out um, when he first came out. I got him for like 40k. And um, <laughs> what's what funny is that in like a couple hours he was down to 20, and I was like so pissed because I spent like an extra 20k getting him but um yeah so i mean his throw on the run is pretty decent or you know it's not it, it it's it's way better than 86 i could tell you that so this is just a really great card and i think he's the best quarterback for under 20k at this time in mutt um <clears throat> next up we're gonna go to halfbacks and arian foster for 10k is actually a really good deal right now uh, i love that card so um all right so let's see if i could find him here Let me see. Hold on. Uh, ooh, where is? Oh, okay, hold on. I just found. I just seen them. So I think I did the rolls uh, last time, so I'm not gonna do them this time. But we do have. Okay, apparently no, he's not. <laughs> apparently no, he's not. Um, there. Okay. But what we're looking at here is the Trent Richardson. Trent Richardson going for under 15k or about 15k. This card is a beast. I had him for third down running back, and that's kind of what I think he does best. Um, he's not going to be a starter for you if you do get him. I'd say he works best at third down running back when he's fresh. He comes in after your other running back's tired, your starter. 91 speed, but the 95 excel, it definitely makes a difference. Um, he's got the 97 carry. Um, he does not fumble the juking. Now, that's, that's where you're going to have a problem. So, you're going to have to just kind of like, you're ultimately just going to have to kind of convert to spinning. Because if you look at his spin move right here, it is a, a 94. And if you're a big stiff arm... You got 98 stiff arm. He's going to be punching defenders in the face, getting that animation. So it's a really great card. His elusiveness is definitely better than that. He breaks so many tackles. Uh, 96 trucking. He just plants defenders in the dirt or in the grass, whatever. <laughs> and um, agility really wasn't really a problem. Um, 
he was able to just kind of just uh, turn wherever you wanted him to. So it's a really good card. I definitely suggest it um, for a third down running back, of course, because um, as starter, I think I, he'd probably be good, but he's not going to be as good as a third down. So it, this is a great card, and I think he's the best. I don't think he's the best, but I think he's, you know, he's one of the best under 20K. So let's go ahead and do receivers. We might do two. I don't know. We have like 15 minutes on this video. Um, so, all right, let me see. So this guy right here, let me tell you, he's been making plays for me since I got him. I got him yesterday. And let me tell you something. James Jones is an absolute beast in this game. All of his cards I loved. And this card, this final edition card, I'm telling you, is definitely one of the best possession wide receivers in the game. I don't care what anyone says. 96 catching, 99 catching traffic, 99 release, 93 jumping, 90 route running, 91 spectacular catch, and he's got 92 speed, which is pretty good for, um, you know, how old he is. <laughs> so, I'm telling you, this, he, he does not drop, he's probably got, like, five drops for me, but I played, like, two seasons with him already. Or a season or two. Um, he gets like one drop a game. Um, because I target him a lot, so it's 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 gonna be like that. Um, and you're always gonna get those garbage animations where you the, the cornerback like flips him over or something, some stupid stuff like that. But I'm telling you, this card is an absolute beast. Um, he may be good at tight end too. I don't know. I don't know what his blocking is. I, I know it's good though. 65 run blocking. Look at that. Look at that. 64 impact blocking. He's a great card and i'm telling you guys you need to pick him up right now he's cheap final editions are really cheap this year and uh this one is by far one of the best wide receivers i've used in the game uh for how cheap he is so that's gonna be that um i also wanted to look at someone else i had someone on my other video say why what am I, what about cooper um he's so common everyone knows him everyone has him so it, it's gonna be you know it's gonna be like that um let me see here. What are we, what are we doing here? All right. Yes, yeah, Stephon Diggs. He's a he's another cheap one. And let me tell you something about this card. This card is one of the best all around card wide receivers in the game. Catching traffic is only an 88, but he does not drop a lot of passes. Um, rarely does he. I've had this card before. It's a great card. You can just bomb it up. He's got the speed, the spectacular catch, and his route running is great. Um, he could run any route perfectly create separation um with him in the cornerback or whoever defend whoever's defending him and he's just a really great card overall and this i think it's it's a good one that you should have on your team either in the, in the either in the slot or wide receiver two so that's going to be that that's those are going to be receivers and i'm not going to do tight end this time but i am going to do um middle linebacker there kendrick looks good but, oh 14k deal right there whoever gets that <laughs> Um, so, alright, what are we looking at here? Oh, yeah, we're looking at, okay. Where, did I pass it? Alright, so, Jarrell Freeman, I love this card, I've had him before, and he's a really good all-around back, too. He could cover, he could hit, he could tackle, uh, he could run stuff. He's just a really great card overall. You could still use it with him, too. I suggest you put him as, like, second, um, even if you're, like, even if you're running a 4-3. I, I run a 3-4, so he's more of like a, a blitzer when I put him at middle, line, middle linebacker too. Um, but the coverage on this card is great when you're not using him. He could go in there and cover. And uh, look at this, 82 catching. Um, he doesn't really drop a lot of interceptions for you. Um, he's always in the right position to, to pick the ball off when he's covering like a tight end or like a, a slot receiver. And it's just a really good card overall. And um, that's why I think he is one of the best middle linebackers under 20K. Not to mention uh, Michael Kendricks and um, Manti Teo. Um, so next up, we're going to do we're going to do strong safety. Figured we do that. Um, so the strong safeties, there's a lot of them in this game. A lot of these cheap ones, and they're they're going for they're going for a lot right now, but they usually just kind of toggle down. Um, and we're going to be looking at. Um, you know what? I don't even. Uh oh shit, he's a free safety. Never mind. <laughs> uh, never mind. I was looking at um that is a free safety. He might be going for twenty K right now, but he'll probably go down. Oh yeah, Jordan Poyer. This is him right here. 
Um, he's usually under 20k, but he might be going back up. I don't know. But let me tell you, this card is a beast. Um, first thing when you look at this card is you're like, oh, this card cannot hit and cannot tackle. But the 68 tackle, it it doesn't matter. Like I'm telling you, he he could like he doesn't he doesn't fuck up the tackles. I'm just let's just just make it simple. Hit power is um I don't know if he's a big hitter trait, but he like he lays the smackdown on people. Of course, he's not going to force a fumble, but, I mean, he gets those crazy-ass, like, flipping animations and stuff. And this card could could cover, um, he could, he could zone, because his zone coverage is 94, and he could, he could man-to-man, -man, 88. And he's got the play wreck and the pursuit, which is, rarely do you see it in, like, high zone coverage, uh, free safeties. You don't really see pursuit and play recognition, or, like, pursuit. Um, so it's a really good card, because sometimes you see people, like, 95 zone coverage, but they have like 70 pursuit. So this card is it's a really good card. He has also got 81 catching um, And I think he's the best free safety for under 20k Glover Quint's another good one. Um, I've heard this uh, this brute in junior. I've had him like, you know, I've had him uh, jump a couple routes for me um, When I did have him So that's gonna be that we're gonna do the last one, which is going to be defensive tackle so let's Go ahead and do that. Um, who are we looking at here? Okay. Yeah, this Kevin Williams right here. This is a beast card. He's just a really good, um, just like a, a good nose tackle bulldozer, bulldoze through the offensive line and uh, get you that sack. He's got 95 strength, 95 block shed, 97 power move, 91 play rec, 92 pursuit, and 93 tackle. He's got everything you want in a nose tackle. Of course, he doesn't have speed. Um, not a lot of nose tackles do. And he's just a straight up, just power through you, power through the center, whatever, and get you that sack, get you that, that tackle, stopping the, uh, the running back from gaining yards. It's a really good card, and I think it's the best uh, defensive tackle for under 20k at the moment. Of course, a lot of these guys are going to drop, um, another good one, and he is, I don't even know where he's at right now, but, yeah, that's going to be the video, um, and you know what, actually, here, we'll do one more, we'll do tight end, I don't know if we did it last time, but, um, you know what, they're all fucking expensive right now, we're not going to do that, um, alright, well, if this cuts off, then, we'll do cornerback, we'll do cornerback, and, um, they're going for a lot right now, but, However, this Ultron Werner is a great card. He's got catching. Okay, he can't press. Um, his man is a little weak. But he's a great uh, zone coverage card. And he's a great... Um, he could intercept. He could jump routes. He's a great card. I've had him. I had him... Um, when you do get him, you should probably put him in the, um, in the slot. Or in the nickel. Because he plays the best. He's got tackle, too. Not a lot of cornerbacks have tackle. Um, I wonder what his hit power is. I think... I don't know if he's like... Oh, he's also got block shedding. Um, he's got pursuit. So this is just a really good card. Um, you, you could probably play him at safety, too, for the fact that he has... Look at that. 80 spectacular catch, 72 catch in traffic. Um, hit power is not all there, but he's got everything else. Um, press is it probably his only weak point, pressing man. But other than that, he's a really good card, and he goes for, like, 15k at some point, so get him while you can. Um, but, yeah, that's a really good card. Another one, too, is this Casey Hayward. I've, I've seen him at, like, 15k before. He's a good card, too. Look at that. 86 catch. 98 zone, 94 man. This card is great. So, go pick him up, too. Um, he's not. He's 27k right now. But, that's going to be the video for you guys. And, I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, stay tuned for more Madden 16 Ultimate Team videos. And, or, whatever. So, I'll see you guys later. Peace.